that's all right. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and button it. Wow, I guess my great grandfather was a little, little smaller around the middle than I am. Okay, well, the, well, anyway, there's something else I want to show you too. Right here, I have my great grandfather's dowsing hat. He used to wear this whenever he went out looking for water. He put it on when the hot sun was there, so he wouldn't get sunburn on his head. You know, I think it's a pretty nice hat, don't you? Goes with the vest pretty well. I think so. It really does. And, oh, but there's something else I want to show you. But I want to ask you a question first. I want you to think about it before you answer. Does anybody know what cheaters are? Think about it. Think about it. What are cheaters? They cheat people to cheat on things? Well, that's a different kind of cheater. They know, you know what? Do you think that those cheaters would fit in that box over there? No, no, no. They would, they'd be too big to fit in this box. One more try. Anybody know what cheaters are? Does anybody know what cheaters are? How much money over there? What now? Say again. Oh, find water when he lived here in the Austin area well, a long time ago. You know, so they said that my great grandfather had a gift for finding water. And when he took this off the tree, it was a little bit more flexible. I'm afraid to do that now. But he said he'd walk around and he would tug a little. He would know where the water was. Whew. Well, he used this so long ago and he passed it down to his son. Uh, that was my grandfather. And my grandfather passed it down to his son. And, and, and that's my dad. And dad, well, he wanted to give it to me a little bit early. He said, Dowser Dan, would you like your great grandfather's dowsing stick? And I said, yeah, wow, what an honor. You see, getting this passed down to me by my family is sort of their way of passing down good water saving and good water using habits and knowledge about water to the next generation. You know what? They're all simple. They're all kinds of ways that you can save water. Uh, speaking of which things that they would pass down, one way to save water is to turn the faucet off when you brush your teeth. How many of you do that at home? You all brush your teeth and I hope you turn the faucet off too. That's great. Or oh, another way, um, take a five minute shower. Oh, wow. Or a six inch deep bath. You know, how many, I hope you do that too. Or oh, something else, something else. Don't use the toilet as a trash can. I heard somebody say it. Those are all ways that we can save water. It's not a trash can.